Good, good. Beautiful day for it too, right? Yes, it is. Wow, beautiful weekend for whatever you were doing. And you know, we have one more hot day, Jim, and then the cold front is going to come through. That's going to give us our highest rain chance on Tuesday with showers and thunderstorms likely. After that, a dry, cool pattern setting up and Wednesday's the transition into that cooler pattern. Next weekend is looking like lower 80s instead of near 90 like we saw today. 89 was our high. Tomorrow will be very similar to today. Warm, humid, 88 degrees for the forecast high southwesterly winds at 10 to 15 late tomorrow into the nighttime hours. That's our first chance for a thunderstorm. A greater chance on Tuesday scattered thunderstorms. The front starts sagging south, but it is a very slow moving system. It will set up a northerly wind, though. That's going to start pulling in the drier air. Now the severe uh, weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center keeps this area in yellow under the highest threat for active weather tomorrow afternoon where we could see some severe storms reaching into Milwaukee, maybe into Racine for a marginal risk that's slightly lower. We are OK during the day. I think as the sun sets, we'll watch for a thunderstorm chance. Well, we're clear now and at O'Hare we have an east southeasterly wind at 6 and a 74 degree temperature downtown at 75 as everyone leaves Lollapalooza 69 in Gary 73 in Kankakee and 74 degrees in Aurora. I've noticed dew point temperatures creeping up. We're finding some in the upper 60s like Joliet now has a 68 degree dew point temperature. Once we start getting close to that 70 degree mark, that's when it starts to feel more along the sticky side and we're going to see that trend through the day tomorrow where it feels humid even for much of Tuesday because that front is even though it's going to move in on Tuesday and scatter showers and storms, it's going to take its time pushing through. So I don't think we'll feel the drier air until about Wednesday and thereafter. High pressure though kept us pretty quiet today. We just had a few showers form along the lake breeze well inland, but right now nothing showing up on radar. Here is the cold front that I'm looking at to move into the picture for us. So as we time it out overnight, I think we'll have just a few scattered clouds around temperatures beginning in the low 70s and then back to the upper 80s tomorrow and we keep that wind flow west southwest at 10 even at the lakefront. So it's going to be warm even if you are headed to the lakefront. And then as we get into the nighttime hours, see how the storms trying to creep into southern Wisconsin as the sun goes down. Well, as we move through the overnight, here's 1 a.m. on Tuesday. We have a better chance for those showers and storms and Tuesday's very unsettled with scattered rain around at times, a rumble of thunder. 81 at 5 o'clock on Tuesday as the front comes through the area. So our forecast tonight is kind of fair, kind of quiet, 67 for the low. Some areas a little milder midway and the surrounding neighborhoods, 69 degrees there. Then for tomorrow, maybe a sunset storm along the Wisconsin line, but I do think that most areas will stay dry during the daylight. It's after dark when we could see a shower storm, especially overnight, as I showed you into Tuesday morning. Tuesday is unsettled and then later in the week we are going to see those high temperatures only in the low 80s. Look at next weekend. Yeah. Isn't that the air and water show, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, it is. Ooh. No, two weeks, I think. Two weeks. Okay. Yes. Well, yes. next weekend, if you have some plans, it looks pretty nice. Very good. Good mm -hmm. to hear.